Kifo! All right. Yes, your boy just got out the shower. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. And um, this is part two, the Stone Mountain Experience Slash Comedy. All right. So I'm about to head over here, see what they got going on, kind of check out the scenery a little bit, and um, uh, wait for my cue to uh, to get on stage and do my thing, Kenfo. So um, I've never been to one of these get-togethers that they have. So it's my first time, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, Kenfo, we're going to have a good time. Yes, we is. All right, give it y'all guys in a few. All right, Ken, folks, so just pulled up here. I'm about to go meet some of the locals, introduce myself, and uh, we're going to have a good time. And these are some of the locals here. Everybody ain't got here yet. But hey, hey. What's going on there, brother? How you doing? I'm doing, brother. All right, Ken, folks, nice mean, to meet you. You too. Nice yes, sir. To be, hey, nice to be met. That's right. Okay, so I was just told we are having a celebration for retirement for gentlemen that have been working here since 78? I think 1978. 1978, so he's retired. So we're having a big celebration for him. And I'm going to introduce myself. Congratulations, Nate. Yeah. I'm Harris. It's nice I'm to Nathan. finally meet you. I've All right. been staying here for about two weeks and I just want to meet you before you disappear. Yeah, I've been here since 82. Ooh, it's been a while, brother. Yeah, it has. It's, it's fine and nice to it's meet time, you. It's time for me to retire. It's time for you to retire. Yeah, you're right. It's time How for you to retire. How do you think I am now? Well, brother, I'm going to... We're going to go on and start this thing. Oh. oh yeah. All right, Kim folks. So we're here fellowshipping with the neighbors. All right. Got the DJ over there on the ones and two. Sideways, all excited, but I just I got bad news for you, white people. I'm not Kevin Hart. I know they was like, oh my god, Jackie got Kevin Hart up in here. If I was Kevin Hart, you'd have paid to come here. And besides, I look nothing like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is five foot four. I'm Five, six and a half. Please say the half. Right. Really mean a lot to me. And besides, now I'm going to try to keep this clean as possible, being that we have children in here, so y'all be patient with me, okay? Besides, how in the world do you get caught cheating on somebody like Eskimo Paris? What they do that at? Y'all seen how fine that little one is? See, that's why you can't convince me that money can't buy you happiness. Because here you got Eskimo Paris, the ugly dude. The ugly dude, Eskimo Paris. Money, happiness. That's what it is. See, I'm broke. I know I'm broke. I ain't ashamed to tell you. That's why I started working out. Going to the gym, trying to keep my stuff together. See, that's the thing that you do when you're single. You know, y'all look around right now. If you see any brother in here, chest on swole, arm on these, his ass is single. I tell you what, 
if he ain't single, then he's about to be single. And if it's your man in here, chest on swole, arm on these, his ass is single, and they, your ass just don't know it yet. <sighs> so the next thing I started doing was going to a boxing gym. I told myself, if I want to find Miss Wright, I want to at least be able to protect her. So I don't find her work my way up to spar. Now my trainer is 20 years old in shape, you know. So I'm sparring with this little young cat, and I forget that I'm 40. I don't mess around and threw a jab at his, his behind, you know, mess around and did some mess like this and came back and hit me like three, four times. I'm like, what's your goddamn problem? Hit me like that. That thing had me mad, kid folk. That thing had me mad. I tell you, that thing had me so mad, I went and took off my gloves. I went and grabbed my belt. I'm finna beat your behind. Look disrespectful. Look rascal, you. But I stepped with no Ken Ford. I did. Build up a lot of confidence, learn some self defense. So, six months into it, me and a few partners of mine, we went to a bar. About the size of this room right here. And I'm at the bar talking to this fine bartender. Give him a Mac on. And all of a sudden, I feel a bump. And I'm like, hell yeah. This is my opportunity. I'm finna whip somebody behind. So I jumps up. Hey, brother, what's your problem? He looks back at me. My bad, came my heart. I don't want no smoke. Now why in the fresh fry world do you do that? So you know I gotta whip this behind. So I jumps up. I'm finna whip your behind. See, kid folk, let me explain something to you. Fighting in the streets and fighting in the gym is two different things. When I'm going to the gym, I know I'm finna put my gloves on, the bell gonna ring, thing, we in. In the streets, ain't none of that. Mm-mm. It just happened. So I squares up with this brother, and all of a sudden he don't ran off and hit me just. Now Kim folk, ain't no pump about my stuff, but I wasn't ready. You ever had a brother hit you so hard, knock you off balance? Just hold on, brother, hold on, hold on. Damn it! Give me your hand. Let's pray. Let's talk about this. Oh, this black on black crime. Gotta stop. That brother hit me so hard, I had to look him up on Facebook and send him a free request. <laughs> I tell you, careful, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So here I am, 40 years old, still short, still fat, still can't fight. I say to hell, I might as well be do comedy. See her thinking about it. Well, maybe I am Kevin Hart. That's my time. All right, Kim folk. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video I did. It's been a long day. And uh, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. So I might step out tonight for a little bit, you know. But uh, anyway, met some nice, wonderful people here. Met some of the locals and... Uh, one of the guys said that he was a promoter. So we exchange information and uh, yeah, we're gonna take it from there, Kim folks. So like I tell you guys, if you guys have that opportunity to do anything, take advantage of because you just never know who you might meet, you know? And if you don't meet nobody, you know, you still get another chance to better your craft build your material whatever it is you're trying to do it's another opportunity for you to do it and get better at it all right now i appreciate you guys from tuning in this is life after 40 and i will see you guys in the next video let's get it